Don't worry about the Knicks, cause it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. Alright, hey, it's me again. Alright, so I just want to talk about the whole Miami um, high school dancers. That's been going around for uh, quite a while. Alright, so these girls was caught wearing lingerie that the school approved and their mothers approved. Everyone approved this. Except the internet. And um, I know Tommy Sotomayor talked about it. And that's when, I guess, it, it, the news finally had to do something about it. But, everyone is not having it. And for me, either I'm not having this. I do not have a daughter. I do not have kids. But my daughter will not be caught wearing that at no 16 to 17 years old. But this is what generation we live in. Where we have Danielle, the catch me outside girl, cussing on her mom. You know, making a career out of that. We got Kylie Jenner, who was at 17, uh, looking like she was 24, had a mansion, uh, getting her butt, boobs, lips, all of that filled. You know, 17, you know, being jail bait. Then you had, um, oh, well, now Kylie Jenner's pregnant. I think she's 22 now. Well, I guess she's a grown one, so she can do it. You know, but I think this was too young for them to be wearing. I do think they look like whores. You know, if you want to talk about, oh, Beyonce wore it. Oh, uh, Mariah Carey wore it. Them is grown women. Beyonce is married with kids. Mariah was married, but she's a grown woman. And if y'all know anything about strip clubs, Miami... And Atlanta, Georgia has the biggest black strip clubs out there. Those are the biggest um, strip clubs out there for, um, like, like black women. So a lot of the rappers go out there. A lot of the rappers are from there. And those are where the biggest strip clubs, like the Di- Ace of Diamonds and um, all of them, is out there. And so for the mothers to approve that, I think is disgusting. You know... Black when I was growing up, you couldn't even have like a split on the side of your uh, dress without them calling you a, a tramp or showing your belly button. Now you could be a brick house, just let it all hang out. You know, and the mothers probably was like, oh yeah, girl, you finna look like a bad bitch. Oh yeah, you finna turn these niggas out. These are 16 to 17 year old girls. Do you not know that it's some man or some lesbian out there thinking about, I could probably fuck one of them? You know, because when you at that age, someone is trying to fuck you. It's the, it's the truth. If you're anywhere from the ages of 14 through, you know, 27, 28, and if you got a shape on you, Either someone's trying to fuck you or fuck you over. Like Tommy says. I have to quote him on that. Because that is true. Someone is trying to fuck you or fuck you over. This is why you do not get drunk around anybody. This is why you do not take any medicine or any drugs. Any type of drugs. If it's not prescribed for you. Or if you didn't smoke it. If it's not uh, weed. You know... Just don't do it. Don't do none of it, period. Because a lot of people, they will fuck you or fuck you over. Or do both. And just because you're a guy, that does not exclude you too. If you're getting drunk around a bunch of niggas, a bunch of your homeboys, um, when you get drunk, you become inhibit. You become a product of the moment. You do not know what's going around you. You can be taken advantage of. Then you, you wake up talking about oh yeah last night when we was hanging out i got my dick sucked and then your homie talking about oh shit i think i'm coming down with a cold my throat is sore uh, well uh the way th- there was no girls at the party it was just us hanging out um oh shit that's why my my throat sore yeah because that was probably you that was doing it but you was too drunk to the point that you did not know that where you was at 
Or some people do get drunk just to do um, stuff that they would never do sober. Or they're thinking about sober. So, I don't know. This is a weird generation. But, yeah. You know, you could be taken advantage of. And if you grown, like I say, when you grown, you make decisions. Whatever decisions you want to do. You know, you know right from wrong. You know how to handle yourself. But as a child, you don't need to be doing all that. Uh, walking around the laundry and the way they was moving they looked like Jezebels I mean they was just moving their hips and fanning you know, they, none of them probably was no virgins they probably already was somebody probably already didn't hit it and this is why you know they was already developed the uh, booty breast and this is why a lot of these girls end up getting raped by uncles and the mama's boyfriends this is why these um these pedophiles prey on single women because they know that they they trying to get to your daughter they trying to get to your daughter you know because they, that's what they want they want this, them young you know and they probably tr probably scheming thinking about ways where they can get to you, you know. Shit, this is one of the advocates. Daughter or son, they're going to be on lockdown. You know, you can't trust everybody. Yeah, you know, you got some wicked ass people nowadays. And you got people who do not care about how they get to you or how they get some. You got a lot of videos where these girls get pissed drunk and they bounce around a bunch of dudes and they, um, the dudes start raping them. And then the dudes try to use some type of consent. Well, oh, well, she consent to it because she made a sound like, uh. So she consented sent it to it. They'll use any type of excuse. This is why you always have to be around of your surroundings. You cannot call everybody your friend just because y'all be drinking together. And doing stuff together. Like, you have to actually analyze people. And I know I'm going off a little bit off, you know, topic. But... It's an off on topic. It all it's a circle of life. You know. It's like with the Kanika Jenkins situation. It was just all types of crazy. It's a lot of wickedness in there. Especially for the mother, you know. It's just something off about her, you know. But like I say with these high school girls, I see something wrong with them. And yeah, I do agree with Tommy. If anybody <laughs> want to whoop my ass or cuss me out because of what I said, would you have your daughter out there wearing that? You know, you can't really get mad at somebody. You know, these girls, they turn up pregnant because they end up, one of them, they don't end up turning up pregnant or something. Or somebody, they look like they was ready to be sex trafficked. This is why it's so easy to get to, you know, these, this youth nowadays. Because they see other people doing, posting, you know, ass shots or booty pictures. You know, now they want a bunch of subscribers. So when you take your clothes off, you can get all them likes. And when you put your clothes back on, you know, ain't, not a lot of people going to like that photo. And somebody probably going to be trying to plot and scheme how they can going to get you in bed. Anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Crystal's the next. Peace.